Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Foster versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Foster, you claim you and your ex-boyfriend planned your pregnancy only to have him abandon you and deny paternity. You are here to prove that he is your daughter, Jakiah's biological father. You want him to step up and take care of his daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you say Miss Foster cheated on you multiple times during your relationship and there is no way you are Jakiah's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Foster, tell us, why do you need to open your case? I'm opening this case today because, Your Honor, I have a one-year-old child who we plan on having. She looks like him. Beautiful. She acts like him. Um, he doesn't step up to nothing. I mean, he's posted pictures on that, social media. That's, that's not he, my baby. He just I, it can't... gives me nothing. She <laughs> don't even post a baby on social media. So you admit you haven't been stepping up. I'm not talking about social media. I'm talking about like, real parenting. I can't say I admit it to anything because I always say I'll do this and I'll do that. How did this relationship even start? Ma'am, oh, Your Honor, this relationship started through social media. We found each other through oh, Facebook. Oh, social media. I should have known. No wonder we talking about social media. Okay, go ahead. We found each other through social media. So we had a mutual friend. Um, they vouched for him, said he was a good person, so we jumped into a relationship. I had my first child, and he did come bring us to his mother's house, but he was claiming my first child knowing she wasn't his baby, but then when we plan a baby, he doesn't deny this child at all. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I, I, well, I want to understand this. So this first baby was not his biological child. Correct. But he took you home to his mother like, look at my girlfriend and our baby. Correct. Then what happens? The In the midst of us staying together, he told me I was going to be his baby's mother because I'm the best mother in the world. That's why he said it. Actually. Facts. No. Facts, Your Honor. No. I am the we best was, mother in the world. Having, he can't say anything. Saying, he hasn't even stepped up all, to be even a but stepdad. But the man that she had dropping her off at my house, claiming was her brother, was the dude she was sleeping with. Correct, you Your Honor. Me. It definitely and was. Basically, what the story was, she already came to my house pregnant by her so-called brother. You feel me? And. It was like, I mentioned it to her, you feel me? She said she objection, used me Honor. for a place to I stay. I can't come nowhere pregnant all the, all if I just had a baby and it's January and I wasn't pregnant. So, wait, you're so in this you relationship... No, wait a minute. You're in a relationship living at his mother's house. With him, yes. He thinks you all are boyfriend and girlfriend. No, Your Honor, he doesn't think. He had a whole nother girlfriend out of town. He wanted to play house here and there and have us in a polygamous relationship, which he don't got it like that. Actually, I wasn't playing house. Actually, he was. Then, at some point, you all, you find out you're pregnant again. Yes, Your Honor, after he left out of town again. So what happened? I was talking in a relationship with him, and when I found out he was in a relationship with the other female, I went to go continue doing me with the Marquise gentleman that could be the alleged father as well. I was sleeping with both guys, and, I mean, you had two girlfriends, why well, can't have two no, boyfriends? No, I call... No, I call... Oh! And you said it's my brother. Sure did. Yes, sure are. Right. Which I used to call him my friend, but... Well... First, they denied it. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Kick him out. Wait, so you think you in a relationship, but she's sleeping with your friend? Yes, at no, my Your Honor. House. No, Your Honor. We yes, were not were. together when he left. We were not together... But you still in my mama's February house when 23rd. I left, though, you feel me? That's pointless. I mean, that matters nothing to me. How many times I was like, I mean, you like, left, you, know, you brought me her, you left her, and my mama somebody get else. Back cool for me some and my reason. baby stayed. That's just what it was. So, Miss Foster, I want you to take me to the day you you found out you were pregnant. I fell to the floor. I did three rolls around the floor in the doctor's office because I wasn't having no kids if I'm finna be a single mother to two children by myself. I'm 20. It's not happening. So, at that point, I told Marquise because Marquise was there. Physically, he was gone out of sight. Wasn't worried about him. Marquise is the brother. Yeah. Who wasn't That's a brother. Like, oh, yeah, brother. the yes. brother who wasn't a brother. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, I told him, I'm pregnant. You could be the father. It's out of you and Sean. Off back, I told them. Slept with y'all around the same time in the same week. She never said that. When did and you your... tell Mr. Jackson? A month later. So you waited a whole month? Because we weren't speaking. No, we After was he already left in the house. To Chicago, so, we Mr. Jackson, yes. do you remember when she told you... I'm the pregnant. baby that she, Kaya, that she was pregnant with, the man Marquis already in the phone talking about that was his child. She came to my house pregnant. 
I didn't hear from her after I came to Chicago until she had the baby. She was six months when I first heard about her. Oh, you know? look at that. Miss Foster, I do have to ask you this. Okay. If you know you're sleeping with two guys, why are you just bringing Mr. Jackson to court? I went to the doctor's office. They gave me the conception calendar. I got pregnant February 21st. That's the same day you left. So that week and that week before, I had a menstrual period. We're sleeping together the entire time. While I'm on, in the shower, every night, every day, three times a day, lunch, <laughs> breakfast, and dinner, and I was the third. We was only together for two weeks. Why are you talking? We together for two weeks, bro. Seven days to get pregnant, baby. Well, you, you're not shooting blanks. You shooting. I'm not the only one that's shooting hard. OK, so right. my right, conception right. day said February 21st is when you were fertilized. You were still there, so. But didn't you also admit you were having sex with both guys because if he could have two girlfriends, you could have two boyfriends? By me going to medical school, I kind of know what I'm talking about as far as the female productive system. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, I wish you would have known so much about what you was talking about that you would have known who your child's father was. I mean, I okay. was, but... So, I but mean, go ahead. But go ahead, honey. Go ahead. Is, go I mean, ahead. School us. School girlfriends. School us. School, school us. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You told me you had two boyfriends because he had two girlfriends. And you were sleeping with them at the same time. What I'm asking is, were you having a sexual relationship with the other guy at the same time you were having it with Mr. Jackson? Not the exact same time. No, Your Honor, I was not. So it is your testimony that during the window of conception, you only slept with Mr. Jackson? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, this is not right. Yes, but Your you Honor. say that's not true. That's not right. Mr. Jackson, I want to hear from you. Me too. Jakaya's 15 months old. Right. What kind of relationship do you have with her? None. Because I don't talk to her through the phone. Lies. Man, you don't even click. We get on the phone and argue, me, you, and my girl every time. You feel me? So what's the point of keep calling her? Me and my girl got... So is that fighting. the long way of saying you don't even spend no time with her? I, I, I'm like yes, four hours away. I asked her, you feel me? I can go and get Jakaya. Oh, no, you're not bringing her up there. Woo, woo. My girl ain't got nothing to do with that. This girl is... If his... this my daughter, you feel me? Then why can't I be around her? So you're Who saying, even said I have to come back is, to Chicago I've with tried, the baby? But she doesn't want the baby around my new girl. Basically. So we haven't been able to establish Basically. a relationship. They on the phone, best friends. Then the next day, so she you on have the never seen this baby in person. No. In your life. No. Wow. Never hugged her. Never. Nothing. Nothing. Not yet. Nothing. Fifteen months. <laughs> th th this is the part that drives me crazy. Everybody know how to meet halfway to make a baby, but don't know that know how to meet halfway to come see the baby and establish a relationship with a parent. None of my family know about the baby. No, no that's not I... my like... point. That's not my point. This happens too often. Everybody knows how to get together to make the baby. Where are we gonna meet up? Where are we gonna have sex? Where are we going? No, before. don't don't talk when I'm talking. You all made all the plans in the world when it was time to get, get to the good part, making the baby. Mm -hmm. This is my baby. It ain't your baby. Moved her into the house. You got sex right under your roof. Y'all doing all that. Then I ask a question. Why in 15 months, 15, y'all couldn't come together to figure out how does he meet the baby you say is his? Why haven't you said to yourself, girlfriend, I love you to death, but I got a beautiful little baby girl over here, and I'm supposed to be the daddy. I got to go make a way and meet this girl halfway and see my child. Yeah. Why is that not possible? I been said we can meet. You feel me? I did. But she you're said saying she was going to go buy a car. It. She said she was going to buy a car. We can meet halfway. Next thing you know, her excuse was her friend stole all her money. So it's exactly. your testimony. You make a plan, I been made but the then Miss Foster don't I show been up. I made a plan because I have to go and get my little brother from St. Louis. So your it Honor. was just like that. Okay, look, Garon, exactly why you said that. He just, he just like a month ago, came down to St. Louis to go pick up his brother. His girlfriend texted my phone. We would like to see Kaya. I said that's fine. You guys cannot take her out, but you guys can meet her. I waited at my house for a whole weekend for them. No show. Oh, Sean's getting ready to bring her some diapers. No show. 
but I'm communicating with your girlfriend because you won't talk to me. Okay, cool. But anyways, Your Honor... Wait, wait, wait. So I want to give him a chance to respond because it Thank sounds you. like, to me, you had the opportunity Plenty. to see this baby. Plenty. First of all, we had this conversation. Why didn't you Whatever go? Whatever my girlfriend said to her, I ain't know nothing about that. Why didn't that. you go? I didn't know nothing about this. I don't know where she at. You feel me? Oh, she so got you're saying your girlfriend and her are talking, but you ain't I, in this. That's what I'm saying. I don't be on the phone talking to them. Okay. I'm starting to get it. Get it. I am. What you get, Your Honor? Your girlfriend is not your advocate. She doesn't have to be that. She you like should it. already have Jakaya on your mind if this is a possibility that this child is yours. But I see what's happening here. Just like I told you before, both of you all, y'all can talk, 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 talk. And I, I mean, look, it's entertaining. The problem is, a baby's life ain't no show. Okay. It's a real life. And I'm looking at you, Miss Foster, and every time the picture goes up, I see you. I know you love your baby. With everything in my heart. And I know you've been through a lot, so I can see a lot of times when you're talking and you're fighting and you're feisty, it comes from a place of having to protect yourself. My children. And your children. And I know you don't want this cycle repeated for your children. I'm a strong woman myself, mm -hmm. so I really don't need a man to do anything for me or my children. However, it's not fair to her to grow up with only one parent in the household and she has two. I didn't make her by myself. We made her together. So, therefore, step up. I don't care what you got going in your life because she asked to be here. We asked for her to be here and it's not fair. I grew up in foster care. He did too, so we both know exactly how it is. It's not fair to her, and I'm, I'm not gonna keep accepting it at all. I mean, when this test come back saying he's the father, he's going to step up. So, did you grow up without your father? Is I grew up without my mother and father. Okay. Both. So, I mean, I'm not too <clears throat> soft when it comes to stuff like this because I raised myself since I was 12, and I did a really good job at it, and I'm doing a very good job at being a mother. Yeah. I need help. Yes. It's OK. Now, that's it. That's the real Miss <laughs> Foster. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. I used to have a pride thing where I didn't like asking for help. It it's just time. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And that was important for you to be honest about. Yes, Your Honor. And I just want... I'm looking at you, and I can see in your eyes how strong you're trying to be and how strong you have to be to be a mother. So, Mr. Jackson, do you plan to step up if Jakiah is your biological child? Yes. And that's why we're here. Because we want better for these children. Right? Yes, yeah. okay. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Foster versus Jackson, when it comes to Jakaya, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are not the father. <laughs> What's funny? I heard that. It was kind of like, ooh. That's why I left. You took us to school. Let me take you there. <laughs> you just performing now. I'm... I, I, like, like I said, you want your baby to be a stage show? That's on you. Keep performing. But if you're gonna be a mother to a real human being and a beautiful little girl like that, Sometimes you just gotta say, like, you know what? Ain't no shame in my game no more. I did what I did what I did when I did it. I didn't and now I do need to think about who my child's father really is. I mean... And uh, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Miss Foster. That's okay to do. Nobody lives a perfect life, and you have been through a lot. And that's why I'm spending this much time with you. You need a woman in your life to say to you, you are worth it. 
There's not an experience you've been through. There is not an obstacle. There is not a feeling of an abandonment or less than or anything in this world that makes you any less worth it. Mm -hmm. Limitless possibilities for your life. You see me? I see you. You grew up in foster care, still there are limitless possibilities for your life. You don't have your daddy, there are still limitless possibilities for your life. You got it wrong and you said Mr. Jackson is the father of your child, but he ain't. There's still limitless possibilities for your life. You don't know really who's the father of your child, there are still limitless possibilities for your life. You can't take them away. So walk in it. Live it. Own it. Be it. You see it? I see it. You see me? I see you. I see you. And I wish you the very best. Go talk to Dr. Jeff. Don't you clown. Don't you start clowning when you get back home. And if potentially this friend could be the child's father, then you do what you can to encourage him to come in here so we can get this answer for this baby. He'll never get to see daylight again. Never in life. He gone. Oh, God. I'm gonna make sure my team talks to you all. Paternity Court, we... <laughs> nothing's impossible for us. We will figure it out. All right? Thank you. I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned.